Hello friends! It has been far too long since I've made a video and I wanted to get back to my roots. So, here we are. Um, I have a new computer which I built after two long years of acquiring parts, so you can expect to see content from me again of various types, if you care about that sort of thing. Um, to start it off, uh, we're going to do some Smite Duel. Uh, currently in Diamond 3, so that's the level that we're playing at here. Um, and let's see, what can I say about Duel? It's often overlooked in the Smite community, um, because Smite is typically viewed as more of a team game. But uh, Duel is good for a number of reasons. You don't need a party to play with, which I almost exclusively do not play with parties. Uh, another plus of it is you get to learn the ins and outs of a god more, I think, than playing in a team environment, in a conquest map, or clash, or what have you. Um, the other thing that I would go on to say with that is that you get to learn the individual matchups better. Um, dual matches are much shorter most of the time. So you get to see, and then you get to use that knowledge when you do end up playing conquest. So. I end up playing and picking Naja here. Um, I don't play Naja terribly often, but he's pretty well tuned right now, and he has a pretty decent matchup against most characters. Uh, Pele, my opponent, is also pretty decent right now. Um, she's probably a higher tier than Naja. I would say put Naja at about an A tier, and she's probably S tier or so, to use the old terminology. Um, So there's that, excuse me. Just checking my recording settings here. Wanted to make sure I'm not very rusty. Um, let's talk about that then. Um, so with Duel, the one thing to remember with this is that it can be a very snowball-y mode. Um, it has a lot of, a lot of quirks with it. Um, there's a lot of little like punching, a little bit of early fighting that goes on here which really affects you know in conquest if you get a f if you get first blooded and die qu early you know it's not great but you can recover with duel like it's even harder to recover that um, I get punched punched pretty hard here at the very beginning and that really um, <laughs> if I had not popped that shield I think I I would have certainly died there um, and I decide to back here I think um, it's a little difficult to say. Had a little bit of FPS lag, but nothing too spectacular. Um, so, Naja Pele. Pele's got a knockup. Pele's got a lot of early damage. Um, her ult is ridiculous. Um, that AoE cone attack that gets generated off of it is quite strong, as well as the slow and the initial hit. Um, <sighs> Cons with her, with the exception of her two, which you can dodge with some ease. She doesn't really have any hard CC as opposed to Naja, who has a slow, a, a stun, and then his alt, which is like it's a little bit of everything. Um, you'll notice that instead of going into power first, I've got my defense going, and that's to kind of nullify Pele's early advantage. Um, with somebody like Naja, who, yeah, who doesn't really need power early, um, like right here, for example, I don't have anything besides my starter item, but that's about all it need I needed. So I'm not quite sure why this decided to speed up. Um, it's a little strange figure it out one of these days. Now I'm going to bypass the experience camp just because uh, just because I don't want to get caught out here. I don't have any of my uh, my good damaging abilities at this stage, but I am able to finish breastplate, which is crucial. Um, finishing the breastplate means that I'm not really going to have to worry about getting one-shotted by her full combo, her one into the eruption, into the ult into the one again. Um, it's going to give me that extra little bit of survivability. 
And Najah's scaling is actually pretty good. Um, you'll notice here, for me, my typical level up build is the one, obviously, because that's your primary clear and um, it has the debuff protections, which is really, really, you kind of need it. Um, I have to alt out here, which is not ideal, but, you know, better to alt out than, you know, be killed. Um, I'm able to steal the red here, which is fantastic, although I can't pick it up. Um, now, we're almost, almost able to pick up the kill here. Um, but her little, her three, I f which I forget the name of, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, but her three gives her, like, that extra speed boost, which makes her really hard to lock down. Um, but it's really helpful for her. So, yay for all the Pele players out there. Um, what else can I say about this? Um, I have a new microphone. Um, as I said before, completely new computer, new microphone, new keyboard. Um, I spilled cider on my old one, so farewell, Razer Black Widow. Um, I replaced it with a Chroma, which is quite nice. And then we're going to kill her again here. Against Naja, if you're not building beads first, then really you have no, there's no business, you have no business complaining about getting killed by the ult early. Um, there's n Unless you're like a character who can kind of CC a unit by the, you know, without, okay, she used her ult there. Um, unless you're a character who can get by without it, like, I don't know. Somebody with a CC, you know, like I guess Fenrir would be an example, or Guan Yu, even though nobody plays Guan Yu in uh, in Duel, or hardly ever. Um, okay, now this, I'm very proud of that. That was completely, completely planned. Um, so what are we at here? Three and zero, oh, I think, is the current scoreline. We're gonna get some good tower damage in. Um, one problem that I tend to have when I duel is that I don't push the pace fast enough um, because I don't like backdooring or playing scummy or things like that. So that's part of the reason that I tend to have that issue. Um, but I really am getting a lot better about pushing my advantage harder early, since that seems to be what it takes to win these fucking games. Um, if there's a suggestion for a game that you would like to see, um, now that I have the ability to play more than like two games, uh, please let me know what you would like to see because I can actually make that happen. Um, going along with that, so Smite is obviously on the docket because that's the game I play the most now probably. Um, as well as Overwatch, StarCraft II, Age of Mythology, Age of Empires II HD, things like that. Um, Battletech, the MechWarrior turn-based sim I'm also getting into. Um, I can also stream from my Xbox One now, so maybe some expert level playthroughs there. So let me know what you guys are interested in because we have more options now than I have ever had in the history of ever. Um, I also got a YouTube alert. I have been doing this now for eight years. So you guys who have been watching since the very beginning, congrats and thank you for sticking with this channel, which has had a really rocky past few years. Uh, it's been a really difficult time for me personally. Um, just a lot of changes in my life. Uh, I moved recently again. That's been really difficult for me. Um, a lot of family drama going on, things like that. So I know that I've been really inactive and really I have no right. I haven't, uh, not no right. I'm very lucky to have retained all of you guys who are still here. Um, if you'll notice in the back, he just tried to ult for some reason. Um, it's not really clear why. Yeah, but I'm able to catch him out because I leveled up that three and the three you can crit off of which is really nice, but really unfortunate if you're playing against Naja because that three hits like a truck. I didn't even build any crit items, which is fun. Um, I decided to finally finish off the boots. Um, the reason I didn't earlier is because Pele has such a strong heal. 
um, which she has now between the soul eater and her passive that I really couldn't afford to let that go unchecked. Um, Pele is too good of a boxer, especially against someone like Naja, who really only has the one heal. And I'm not going to build lifesteal on him because that doesn't make any sense. So Now, that should have hit in an ideal world. Eh, well, that one cl plainly missed, but the... Uh, the alt, I feel like that should have hit. Now, this he doesn't notice me wrapping around here, which, like, is fine, but it's kind of a questionable choice. So I like waiting in that little pocket right there because they can't see you, but you've got a great view of the lane, so you know if they're going to come and get you. Um, where was I? Um... I, div, I have done a few practice streams on Twitch, so I think that's something I'm going to be looking to do more in the future. Um, once I figure out the optimum settings for most games, I think that that's going to be the way to go. For whatever reason, I tried recording this clip with OBS, and it gave me a file format that I didn't recognize, and it uh, com completely omitted the game audio, which was also bullshit because I definitely recorded it. So I have, or at least I think, that I've worked out those bugs and I'll be able to, you know, have better luck with this going forward. This Pele just wasn't quite, like, he clearly knew how to play the character, but he didn't quite, like, execute it well. Um, which is the how so many, how it goes with a lot of characters, honestly. Um, now I knew, like... Ah, uh, see, if I had had probably, like, if I had had maybe Titan's Bane right there, I probably could have almost gotten the kill. <laughs> not quite, not quite uh, finished it off, but what are you going to do? Um, now, I killed, or I forced him to back. You'll notice I'm not really going for the Bull Demon. Um, the Bull Demon, I just feel like it's a disappointment, honestly. It really, like, it was supposed to make dual matches more exciting but in actuality you can do all the work on it and still get it stolen and then you just have to invest more into that than you ideally would like to so i try not to go bull demon as much as possible unless i'm setting a trap but you'll notice there i mean it Unfortunately, you can't really tell because the audio, as I mentioned before, isn't working. But I knew that he was going to pop the eruption because he'd done it almost every time I'd sashed in previously. Um, so I was waiting for it. I purposefully sashed in and then turned around so that he could burn it. Um, unfortunately, you know, he kind of ended the fight right there. But it's easy, easy for me. I get my red buff. Um, it's a little bit difficult to see because, again, with OBS, it kind of cropped out the g cropped out the gold, cropped out the ability, or not the abilities, it cropped out a bunch of stuff that it wasn't supposed to, so that's my B. Now, I finally am able to hook him, and I can't quite, well, yeah, so he's going to do his thing there. I'm going to be able to finish him off here. Now, is, is it here that I go for it? I don't remember offhand. I'm guessing I don't? No, I do. Okay, well, shows how good my memory is. The bull demon's going to go down fairly quickly. Um, I've got about 12 seconds left on the guy's respawn at this point, and Naja does pretty great damage. So we're going to back, or I guess not back. I guess we're going to go get the other objective because we've already cleared out the jungle. So Naja's fourth attack in the hit chain is an AoE that can hit, I mean, hits all the minions in the area, so that's cool. And we're able to buy a complete Titan Spain off of that, which means that whatever we hit him, it's basically, basically going to be doing true damage at that point, or close to it. Um, it's going to be shredding or reducing most, if not all, his protections, because we have one, two, three, I guess technically four pen items if you count the starter, which I don't like counting the starter, but it does give me four, or no, not four, it gives me ten penetration. Um, and now we're kind of winding down. Um, if you haven't played this before, getting the Bull Demon nullifies one objective um, in duels or in Joust, if you care about 
joust, which I don't anymore. I think it's garbage, but that's probably just me being biased because I don't have anybody to uh, queue with. But it'll nullify one objective advantage. So it's better to wait and get it for the Phoenix because the Phoenix is harder. Um, I did not do that this time around, but it also gives you that really nice regen, which is great for boxing. Now I'm able to rip through that. Um, having all the pen really did, really made the difference there. So I know that I get one final kill before this game. This game ends. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, if you are watching this and enjoyed it, please let me know. If you didn't enjoy it and thought that something could be improved, also let me know. We're still trying to get the hang of what this computer can and can't do. So all feedback is good feedback. Um, you should expect to see more content from me when, once I, now that I've found my motivation again after three years of not having it, it's great to be back. Um, let's see. So closing out the game, uh, we're just going to push the minion wave down and then we're going to kind of hope that, uh, well, he can't quite fully clear the minion wave with his abilities, so we kind of have to shepherd it up. And in this instance, we're going to ult him right away to force him back because... And then we're going to do some more damage. He's going to do... He basically kills himself right here, honestly. Um, that reflected so much damage and did so much work for me. But we win the game. He ends up surrendering. So get a nice victory for us. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please let me know, as I said before, what, what you liked and what you didn't. And what games you'd like to see. It's good to be back, friends. And I'm excited. Thank you all. Bye-bye now.